welcome back to Sky Girl Reporter. And today, I am going to be interviewing the CEO of Junior Achievement. A couple weeks ago, I took a class field trip to BizTown. If you don't know what BizTown is, it's a mini city that is 10,000 square feet, and they have jobs like NBC7 News, which I was a part of, Kaiser Permanente, which is a doctor, the U.S. Bank, Jack in the Box, and many more. They have actual businesses that look just like the real ones. I learned so much, but I wanted to learn so much more. So I took out my handy dandy business card and gave it to some people who work there. Fortunately, they gave it to the president of BizTown and the president of BizTown gave it to the CEO of Junior Achievement. The CEO of Junior Achievement had seen me at the evening of Changing Lives. So he knew who I was, and of course, he said yes. So we went to the headquarters of Junior Achievement, and we talked to Sid and learned all about Junior Achievement. So get your mind ready so we can learn a lot of important stuff about JA. So in this segment, we're going to be talking to Sid, and he is the CEO of Junior Achievement. Let's say hi. Hi! Hi, Sky. How are you? Amazing! Before we could continue with the interview, Sid took me on a tour around Mission Fed Finance Park. It's kind of like Biztown, but it's more for high school kids. Now Sid is going to show us around JA Finance Park. Welcome. Thank you. Okay, so my friend at school said I told them I'm going to interview you guys, and he was super excited. Oh, that's cool. What, does, so, so is he familiar with what we do? Does yeah, he, he do... came here with me. Oh, cool. Well, that's awesome. So over here, all of these stations, they all represent different things that you're going to have to do when you get older. And this is a whole simulation. So just like BizTown, you and your classmates will go through this all together. So it's kind of like being an adult before you're an adult. So you're going to have to save money. You're going to have to invest money. In fact, in sometimes you you have to decide where you're going to live. So you have to decide, can I rent a house or am I going to buy a house? Do you know how people buy houses? Usually they get a loan. That's right. So they come here and they apply for uh, a home loan. Then some people get approved for the loan and some people don't get approved. Ooh, these people look happy. Guess they got a loan. Why are those people's faces all covered up? Maybe they didn't get the loan. Should have asked it about that. So all of these different shops, they represent the things that you will have to budget for when you're an adult. Right, you got to budget for our new clothes, right? When, when school comes around every year, we have to budget to eat out. We have to budget for entertainment. We have to budget for our groceries. We decide as adults, do we, we get a credit card or not? And what's the interest rate on a credit card? Do you know what an interest rate is? Like how much money you got to pay them? Very good, yeah. It's like the extra money they charge you because a credit card's not free. Right? So these are all the things that you'll learn as you go through. So all of those things happen in here. And that's what we try to, we try to teach young people how the real world is going to look like. But we try to do it early so you can prepare. That's great. Because I got to tell you, I didn't know any of this when I was your age. <laughs> so it's pretty cool that you already know a lot of this stuff. Which means it's going to help you as you get older. Right? You're not going to make the same mistakes that I made. And you guys haven't been here, but you'll get here. My first question is, what is Junior Achievement? That's a great question, Sky. Junior Achievement is focused on helping young people get ready for their future. So that's making money, that's getting a job, that's being able to buy all the things you want and save and give money back to those in our community who need it. And so JA helps young people learn about how money works and how to get a job. That's good. What specific things do you teach them? It's a great question. So there's a lot of things, but it really boils down to three big things. We focus on workforce development. So we want you uh, young people, people like you, to think about what can I be when I grow up? So that's one thing. 
Another thing is how does money work? So we call that financial literacy, but really it's how does money work? How do I make sure that I save enough uh, and that I make more than I spend? And then finally, we talk about entrepreneurship. And that's just a big word for saying, how do I think about things differently and start a business and make money off of it? How did Junior Achievement start? Well, JA started more than 100 years ago in Massachusetts. Here in San Diego, we started almost 70 years ago. And it was started to help young people understand how does business work? That was a long time ago. <laughs> what is JA's mission? Our mission is to empower young people to see and achieve their future economic success. That's an amazing mission. What other programs do you have for kids besides BizTown? Well, we have, a, they're all called different things, but we have programs where you can pretend to be an adult for a day and you have to budget um, for all the things that adults budget for. We have a program where you can start your own business. So high school students can start a business from just an idea all the way to actually selling products. And then we have another program where young people can actually learn what the stock market is and how to invest money in it. I want to go to those programs. Are there any famous people who started at JA when they were kids? That's a great question. There's a lot of people, uh, business owners in our community who started at JA. One famous person uh, is a guy named Mark Cuban who owns the Dallas Mavericks and he's on the show Shark Tank. He first got uh, excited about business and entrepreneurship because of JA programs when he was a kid. I hope that happens to me. Does JA partner with any other companies or celebrities? Well, not necessarily celebrities, but we partner with a lot of companies because we hope that they will be the folks who are hiring you when you get older. So we partner with a wide variety, more than 60 different businesses all over the county to support the work that we do with young people like you. That's wonderful. How did you get involved in Junior Achievement? Well, that's a good question. I was working at another nonprofit, the YMCA, that we worked with young people. And I got a chance to partner with some programs here at JA, and I loved it. And I never had this when I was growing up, and I thought, man, I wish every young person could have this experience. So I got involved. Good job. Is there anything else people should know about Junior Achievement? I don't know if there's anything else I would tell you about JA, but I will say this. If the future of San Diego looks like you and is as smart as you are, then the future of San Diego is pretty bright. Thank you. So I would like to thank Sid and everyone else who helped me get this interview. At the end, I got this really cool lanyard that says Junior Achievement and this amazing sticker that also says Junior Achievement. Wait for the next video when we'll have a huge tour of BizTime and learn all about it. Don't forget to subscribe so you can see when that posts. I hope to see you guys next time on Sky Girl Reporter with a new person telling us what their job is and you learning. Bye!